because we are in marketing, I would say take the model of a marketing plan and think of it as formulating a marketing plan for your research. Start first with a good current situation analysis. Read what's out there. Be familiar with the literature on that topic and the literature on that topic in the specific journals you have in mind. After that, formulate some objectives. What do you want to achieve with this research? And then think about the segmentation, targeting, and positioning in terms of who should be the target for this, who should be interested in this in terms of research readers as well as practitioners. And then the positioning part, what's your competitive advantage and what are you bringing new with this research project? And from there, you go into the marketing strategy, basically, and consider, okay, what is my product? What am I trying to transmit with this research paper? What am I bringing new? And what is going to make me competitive and different than what's already out there? And then as you move towards the end, don't forget some aspects related to the contingency plan, for example, and evaluation. So... What could go wrong or what could the reviewers and the editor find in my manuscript and kind of plan for that? And then also consider in terms of evaluation and monitoring, how much success is this likely to have? How interest is it going to generate? And think about the citation potential as well, because that's important for any journal when we're considering the impact factor. I always say, read the latest issue of the journal, whatever journal you're looking in, and make sure you're really familiar with the type of research that journal seems to be looking for, the standards they're expecting in terms of the detail and the methodology, the types of methods, the types of data. Just make sure that wherever you're trying to publish, your manuscript is a good fit for that journal. We are looking for papers that are more forward-looking in terms of topics. Contribution is important, so it has to be something new in terms of we learn something going through that paper. We are not interested in something that has a very narrow domain. So, for example, if a phenomenon has been shown in one country, U.S., just replicating it in another country is not that exciting unless the results change because of changing the context. So it has to be like contribution in terms of something broader, not like too narrow, like going to a local market and finding something that applies to a small group of people isn't of interest to us. Definitely topics that are trending, could be technology, could be other topics that are more forward looking are definitely welcome at JBR. Here's one I haven't heard before. An editor doesn't want to be the janitor of a warehouse, but a curator in a museum. So when you write your paper, decide what museum you wish to showcase it in before you actually write those arguments, before you construct your argument. Now, obviously, you're not going to do your research for a journal. Your research is your research, your passion and your work. You'll do that. But then when it comes to reporting it, it makes sense to first choose where you wish to report it. And then speak in the style of the journal and address that readership in a way in which they can relate to, they can understand you and appreciate that contribution.